Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. So today's video is going to be on my top five favorite holy grails. <laughs> I know for sure that I would purchase over and over again foundations. If you're interested to see what they are, then just stick around and keep on watching. <laughs> First of all, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, I cut my hair. <laughs> and it made me laugh too because I had gotten a comment saying how pretty my hair was. And I was like, hmm, I chopped it off. <laughs> um, so this is a bob. I did ask for a long A-line bob, but she cut it a little bit shorter than I wanted it. Um, at least in the front. The back I think is perfect. But typically I like this to be about here. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go ahead and get into the topic of the video, which is my five top foundations. So I'm going to start from number five, working up to my number one foundation. And I feel like I have a good mixture from high-end and drugstore, or maybe not, <laughs> but we'll see. So the first one I'm going to start off with is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the Dewy. So that's this one. Currently, I do have the shade Desert Beige. Now, this one is a little bit dark, so I do use this in combination with the other one, but I already know that I do prefer this one over the original one, just because the original for me, right now anyways, is a little too matte, where this one's dewy, and it gives that pretty glowy-looking skin, which I really do love and appreciate. So this one, for me, is such a good foundation because it's the same consistency as far as wear, coverage, and everything with the original Photo Focus foundation, but it's a dewy one. So if you're someone who's a little bit more on the oilier, oilier side, <laughs> <laughs> this one may not be good when um, a good foundation for you but for me I feel like it's perfect so the number four foundation on my foundation list is the NARS radiant longwear foundation which is this one right here this foundation is so pretty I love the way it looks on the skin I love that it again gives you that pretty sheen to the skin for me anything that makes my skin just look nice and glowy I feel the glowiness of the skin makes the textures of your skin look less presentable or if something that's really dry on the skin it's going to enhance a lot of textures that's the reason why i like more dewy foundations or even more satin to dewy foundations but this one is so pretty i love the way it looks on it looks like your skin but better and the coverage is really good too and i love the wear of it so really really good foundation obviously high-end but really good Number three on my list is another drugstore foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and I have the shade Linen and Cashew. This one here is the linen one. I absolutely love this foundation. It is so pretty. This is one of those foundations that's literally a satin finish. So depending on the type of primer that you use can determine how this foundation is going to look. It can either be dewy if you lose if you use a hydrating or a luminizing primer, or it could be matte if you use a mattifying primer. So it's really, really pretty. I do love the way it looks on the skin. It's best with a pore filling primer that doesn't even sway either dewy or matte. I'm sorry, I know I keep getting tongue-tied, but I'm excited. <laughs> but it's a really, really good foundation. And of course, the price is there too. Really, really good. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend. Like I said, it's my third pick as far as foundations go. So this next foundation is a high-end foundation, and I love this foundation, honestly. I had, there was a time that I was just like nonstop using this foundation, and I was debating whether or not I should consider this as my number one or my number two but ultimately it's my number two this is the it cosmetics bye bye foundation full coverage moisturizer with spf 50. that's what she looks like and this foundation is absolutely amazing again i love the coverage it's a uh, your skin but better i 
do get oily with this one, but I do think that it's because of the SPF protection, which I think is amazing to have on your skin. But it's so good. I absolutely love using it. It looks really, really great on. It wears really nicely. If I get a little oily, all I have to do is a little blot, a little bit of powder, and we're good to go. But really, really good foundation. I love the way it looks. It really complements the skin. It really gives your skin a flawless finish and it just looks like your skin but better <laughs> what can i say then it just looks like your skin but better a really really good foundation definitely recommend this foundation as well and the number one foundation if you guys have been following me for a long time then you probably already know what it is this is the Too Faced born this way foundation i use the shade i think medium warm or warm beige so i use the shade warm beige first of all i love the packaging and this was my original ride or die foundation and i still love her this is the one foundation that regardless of how many foundations i fall in love with which is the rest of one the rest of the foundations here are ones that i've fallen in love with this one is the one that i'll always go back to if i had to pick one foundation just one to continue to use for the rest of my life it would probably be this one i absolutely love the coverage that it gives again your skin but better finish it does have coconut water i believe in the foundation which is really good for the skin so i don't know i just love it for me though the only issue that i have with this foundation is trying to find a shade and then between this one i think natural beige i would probably have to mix the two to get my perfect shade but i make it work <laughs> because that's how much i love this foundation um it is so good it looks so pretty on the skin i just i love the way it looks and when i normally wear any of these foundations actually i get a lot of compliments on how well my skin is not right now because i do have a lot of texture but that's a whole nother story <laughs> but yeah this foundation is my ultimate favorite my ride or die my holy grail Anyways, beauties, that's basically it. I know it was a little bit of a shorter video, but I really wanted to do this. I've seen some other people that I follow here on YouTube talk about their summer picks foundation, but I wanted to talk about foundations that I use overall throughout the year, my foundations that I absolutely love, because I have a bunch of other ones, obviously, that I'm trying out, but these are the ones that I keep wanting to gray of and put on and use <laughs> while the other ones sit there. I'm like, girl, you can't do that. You keep buying stuff. You need to use them all. <laughs> Anyways, beauties, that's basically it. I hope you guys truly did enjoy this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do post two times a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. Every Wednesday is an additional beauty video, just like this one. And every Saturday is a shop my stash. So if that is something that you are interested in, then go ahead and subscribe and join my beauty community here on YouTube. Anyways. Until next time, bye.